So you're wondering how much money you should spend on a nice camera phone this year. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be comparing the iPhone 15 Pro and the Xiaomi 14. Now, I've had these two phones for around three or four weeks and I've been able to test their cameras extensively. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing them and I'm gonna be sharing my opinions and thoughts on these two devices. And we're gonna start with the camera specifications. And on paper guys, the Xiaomi 14 here has the beefier specs coming at triple 50 megapixel camera systems, while the iPhone 15 Pro offers a main 48 megapixel and ultra wide coming at 12 megapixel and another telephoto at 12 megapixels. Now before telling you which is which, I would like you to just sit and watch these two photos side by side and tell me which one in your opinion is taken on the Xiaomi 14 and which one on the iPhone 15 Pro. And I'm pretty sure you probably won't be able to tell the difference be because these two camera systems are just so so alike. And now you know, the left one is iPhone 15 Pro and the right one is the Xiaomi 14. And if you keep on looking at these photos here, you're gonna see a pattern. Usually the iPhone 15 Pro offers a more digital kind of look with a lot more sharpening applied, while the Xiaomi 14 tries to do that cinematic, you know, camera experience, like you're actually owning an, a, a real camera. And another thing about the iPhone 15 Pro is that it tries to overexpose, it tries to brighten up almost every single shot and that only makes it a little bit more digital in my opinion, while the Xiaomi 14 preserves this uh, nice contrast and nice uh, details which are not too sharp yet not too soft. And due to its higher megapixels, the Xiaomi 14 can also take better zoom shots and it can zoom further so it can reach up until 30 and 60 times while the iPhone 15 Pro can reach only about 15 times zoom. So it's not about which camera system is better, it's more like personal preference in my opinion because as you can see they're almost indistinguishable from each other and uh, the only difference is that the iPhone applies a little bit more sharpening which might be better if you are posting a lot on social media so the photos are more social media ready. But there's this feel about the Xiaomi 14's camera, that natural kind of feel with the natural textures that uh, just so much better in my opinion and so if I had to pick one of the two, four photos specifically, I would go for the Xiaomi 14. The selfies here turn out quite great on the iPhone 15 Pro, but the Xiaomi 14 has the higher megapixel count on its front camera coming at 32 megapixels while the iPhone is stuck with 12. That being said, you can see how the Xiaomi here softens the face a lot while the iPhone does exactly the opposite and some people might like or hate that. Now before we continue, I would like to quickly mention the sponsor of this video, Fast Comet. Now, FastComet is a hosting company that you can use to create your own websites from blogs to shops to literally any type of project that you might have and I know that because I'm using them myself. They offer an amazing 24-7 customer and technical support that you can rely on. They are cheaper than most bigger hosting companies out there like GoDaddy, SiteGround and Bluehost. So make sure to give them a try from the link in my description below and that way you can also support me as a creator. Now, let's get back into the video. Speaking about the video quality from both of these devices, I find it impressive and uh, even though the Xiaomi 14 here offers a really nice crisp video, I still think that the iPhone 15 Pro cannot be beaten when it comes to video quality. But as you can see here from this video samples on full auto mode, these two phones perform exceptionally and even though the iPhone's video is a little bit brighter, Xiaomi is right behind it and the details on both of these devices are absolutely amazing and I've actually been using the Xiaomi 14 before to record my videos. So if you go a few videos back on my channel, you can see a lot, a lot of samples from the Xiaomi 14. But fun fact about this channel, I'm recording every single video on a smartphone. So be it the Xiaomi 14 or the iPhone 15 Pro or any other smartphone that is out there, cheap or expensive, I would have a video about it most likely. But when it comes to these two devices, I decided not to use any HDR function, even though the iPhone 15 Pro offers ProRes, HDR and ProRes SDR and a bunch of other shenanigans to use as well as the Xiaomi 14. I just think that it messes up the video quality for anyone without an HDR screen and it also is very hard to edit on the back end and to make it look as good as possible. Now all that being said, these two devices have very different price tags. The iPhone 15 Pro costs almost $1000 while the Xiaomi 14 costs barely 650 bucks. But what I do love about the iPhone 15 Pro is that smooth transition from camera to camera and also the the low light performance of this device compared to the Xiaomi 14, you can see how the Xiaomi 14 here cannot match the video quality when there is little to no light around you. So the iPhone 15 Pro is definitely a no-brainer when it comes to video quality.
quality. So definitely pick that phone up for some professional work. Okay, so here's the video from the front facing cameras, 4K 60 FPS. I'm outside on a sunny day, but it's a little bit windy and also there's car traffic around me, which is perfect to test also the microphones of these two devices. But in my opinion, at least when it comes to image quality right now, the iPhone beats the Xiaomi just by a tiny bit. And uh, yeah, that's my opinion. And here is a low light scenario of the iPhone 15 Pro versus the Xiaomi 14. And this is 4K 30 FPS. I've capped it at that because it lets in a little bit more light than usual. So it's a more fair comparison. But if you pay attention here, you will see that the iPhone is handling that high dynamic range way better than the Xiaomi 14. So yes, this is a win for the iPhone definitely when it comes to the front camera. So after this extensive, extensive comparison, I would say that the iPhone 15 Pro has a little bit of an edge over the Xiaomi 14, especially when it comes to video and video quality, both during the day and low light scenarios. But I believe that the Xiaomi 14 has an edge over the iPhone when it comes to photos and especially these zoom shots. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments and if you have found any value in this video. And I would really appreciate it if you like my video, comment down below and possibly subscribe to my channel as well. And uh, if you'd like to watch the separate reviews for both of these devices, you can click right here. So thank you so much for sticking until the end, guys, and have a wonderful day and week ahead. Bye-bye.